It's said that when a sniper fires from more than 600 yards away, the target has enough time to dodge the bullet. But is that really true? To test this myth, they first needed to find out how long a bullet takes to travel at different distances. So they brought in one of the top snipers in the field to help with the experiment. They built a unique foil-triggered timing setup, placing foil sensors at both the muzzle and the target. When the bullet leaves the barrel and pierces the first foil, it starts an electronic timer. When it hits the target and breaks the second foil, the timer stops. This setup accurately records the bullet's flight time. In the first test, the target was placed at 200 yards. The bullet traveled that distance in just 0.231 seconds. The second test was at 500 yards. The bullet took 0.597 seconds. The final test was conducted at a distance of 1,200 yards. At that extreme range, a spotter is essential. The spotter's job is to provide the sniper with precise data on range, wind, and environmental conditions. At this point, the sniper has to aim more than 30 feet above the actual target to compensate for bullet drop. Once everything is aligned, the sniper pulls the trigger without hesitation. The measured flight time for the 1,200-yard shot was 1.791 seconds. With all this data, they were able to create a reference chart that shows bullet travel times at different distances. Using this chart, you can pick any distance and instantly know how long it would take for the bullet to arrive. In theory, if you can react within that time window, you might just be able to dodge the bullet. And that brings us to the second phase of testing.